we talked about everything. We kept off the evil moment of asking him anything about what was going to happen. This is Min Ryan, the partner of Sean McDiarmada, who visited him along with her sister in Kilmainham jail on the eve of his execution. Her personal story is just one of 50 that can be found on the RTE 1916 website. You know, it was no, it was ridiculous in a way, because there was no sign of mourning. We had to hold up, of course, when he held up. We're very lucky in that we have a lot of TV and radio interviews that were recorded with participants. So we've gone back through all of those interviews and taken them then and placed them on an interactive map of Dublin. So you can click on a location and then hear somebody who was actually there during Easter week. Also making information on the rising available online is the Century Ireland project using essays, articles and film as well as social media to bring the week's events to life. We're going to tweak the whole rising, hour by hour during the whole week of the commemorations, just to see what happened in Ireland, what's happening across the city. Um, but then also on the actual site, they can see uh, features explaining different aspects of the rising. Meanwhile, RTE would like help identifying one of the men featured in its archive. I went to Dublin, I was hot at a barricade. And could go no further. This Dublin Jarvey, who was at Ferry House Racecourse on Easter Monday 1916, was interviewed in 1962 and describes a near miss with a bullet as he returned to the city. And the bullet did fizz by me before uh, uh, at a bad stone. Now, did. Anyone who recognises him can contact the project at archives at rte.ie. Sinead Crowley, RTE News.